Hi Floss Tube. Uh, it's Chrissy, finally a farm girl on both Instagram and YouTube. And I have a special guest today, and that is my oldest daughter, Heather. <laughs> we are not sure we're gonna make it through this. We're gonna be real honest. We're gonna give it a good shot. Um, be patient with us. And we also have her puppy, new puppy. Uh, how old is Wednesday now? Um, she's a week. She's a week old. She's way big. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's a week younger than Matthew. So she's four months. So four months old. We have a four month chocolate lab. She's black. Black lab? She's got some brown though. Okay. Well, we're going to pick her up and show you in a minute, but bear with us. The table is full. We have lots of projects to share with you. If you are new to my channel, um, welcome. And it's not usually this crazy. This is Floss Tube number three, and Floss Tube is a channel. There she is. Hi, Wednesday. Uh, Floss Tube is a channel about cross stitching. Uh, we do have one really cool embroidery piece that uh, Heather has to share, and she has some whips. So let's get started. Okay, so. This week was a little bit busy for me. I had um, doctor's appointments and we had grandkids over on Tuesday, I think it was. So I ended up, when that happens to me, I typically end up trying to pick up something simple and maybe monochromatic so that it's easy for me to pick up, put down and not get too stressed and she's not surviving <laughs> this. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay, that's all right. Laughter is good medicine, right? Okay, so on that, um, on that note, I ended up watching the Floss Tube, and I really do enjoy her. She's relatively new to Floss Tube, but it's Whilst Iris Naps. So when I did watch her, she had put out, do not eat my couch Wednesday, no. Um, she had put out a new red work pattern. So I'm going to start with my stuff, and then we'll do Heather's. <laughs> this is, is going to be crazy. Okay, so her new design is Florence May Pickett. Cutest last name. And I'm looking in the wrong place. But anyways, so this is her newest. And it's red work. Florence May Piggin, 1889. And when I saw her show this, it was exactly what I was looking for. So I quickly went out to her Etsy shop. And I did have a finish this week. So things might be a little bit backwards because this is my, um, I was able to get in a finish. And I used on this a mystery linen, but I can tell you that I tried a new floss by Color and Cotton and it's called Dracula. Hold on one second, I'm gonna show you that. It is absolutely gorgeous. Let me get it straightened around this way so you can see it. So it has some really, hold it up here. Okay, it has some really pretty variegation in it and it changes uh, pretty drastically. I will say that this time on this, uh, because I love doing alphabets, and when I do an alphabet, I typically do cross my X when I'm using a dyed floss. So this turned out, I think really pretty. I shared a picture on Instagram where I have this little writing desk and I've been looking for something where I could just lay it down, not actually finish it. And then I saved all the fabric so that if I decide later on to frame it, uh, I can do that. So that was that. While I was out there, I'm gonna sneak in. While I was at her shop, I got a little lost. And hold on one second grabbed three more patterns. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you just a little bit of haul. We're gonna do this a little unconventional today. I did pick up her Sarah Watson 1859. One again, every now and then it's just nice to have smaller patterns to just pick up and get started. Um, I know I'm getting ready to start something really big. So this is perfect. So that is Sarah Watson 1859. I also picked up Third, I think it's 
Thurza Hudson 1825. And I know people have already finished this and they're saying this is a joy to stitch. And then I grabbed this one at the Afensha. And I have several of these little spools and so I'm gonna definitely give this a shot on the spool. But I'm not sure what color I'm gonna use. So if you, if you get a chance and you want another floss tube or have never watched a uh, Whilst I Read Snap, she is lovely to watch and very relaxing and she has some really beautiful patterns. So that's that. All right, how about, would you like to show something? Sure. Go for your top one. <laughs> um, this is Hannah's brown stone. And it's one of my many, many whips. This is my progress. It's not a lot. You got the roof going. I do. You do. What what color is the roof? Is it is that? It is mascara. Mascara. Okay. So mascara by Weeks. And this is Hannah's Brownstone by the Scarlet House. I already showed it. I know. I, th I love this one uh, for the uh, brickwork on the house. It's very tedious. I'm sure it will be, yeah. <laughs> and the linen you're using is? It's my mom's. <laughs> <laughs> it's 28 count Lugana from Hobby Lobby that we uh, d dyed with the two different color dyes. Um, with the writ dye and it's so it's kind of like a colonial blue but I think it's gonna look really pretty with that mm -hmm. and you're using most of the called for threads but a few substitutions yeah okay like and it's two or three two or three okay okay well you can't you put that over on your side okay um, modern folk embroidery which by the way Jacob has uh, he had a new floss tube out so I did get a chance to watch that this is the 2021 Modern Folk Embroidery Sal that he did. Um, I've talked about this a lot. I think I've shown it for each of my floss tubes. And this is my progress. I think when I talked to you last, I was, my biggest goal was getting through. The dogs might have to go. Um, I wanted to get through end February and get a, get a few stitches into March and I was able to do that. So you've got January, February, and I'm building the foundation for March. And actually when you start doing this, this part goes really fast. So that's why I've told people I was really, really hesitant to try one of these. And it's actually absolutely one of my favorite stitches that I've ever done. Uh, it's very relaxing and it's nice to just have the two colors. I'm using DMC 924 and 926 and I think they're turning out really lovely. Um, so I still have a few days uh, in March so I can get there. Um, and I, I know that he just had a new release as well uh, and he has a, a giveaway. So you might wanna check in and watch his, his plus too. And she's coming back for more. Okay. <laughs> All right. So the next one Heather's going to share is an embroidery project. Before, for a long time, um, I hand embroidered and, and still would, but I haven't done anything in a while. However, she's doing something incredibly, uh, did you trace this? Mm -hmm. I'm trying to remember. So this is very unique, um, but go ahead and share your story. There's a story. Well, it's for... Uh, it's supposed to be for my husband. It's supposed it's, to be. It's creature. <laughs> and he's going to go on our wall, so it's for us. But this is his favorite Universal movie monster. And creature I've the been, Black Lagoon? Or, yeah. Yeah, okay. Cause I'm it's not a good creature. At that. Okay, creature. I guess. Creature feature. Yeah. I wouldn't. Creature from the Black Lagoon. Can um, you see the difference in our taste? <laughs> I've been working on this on and off for probably three years. But you made big progress this year. I did. I'm probably in the last six months, but you got to get it close. Okay, I'm going to tell you, her stitching is like stunning. That is really, really good. So um, 
I was, did not know she was going to fill in like that. And so it's really coming to Neither life right I. now. Neither did I. He just kept going. <laughs> um, so anyways, okay. All right. Uh, let's see here. I cannot share my secret stitching I shared last time. I did get some work in it. But at this point, if I share it with you, uh, it's from Twin Peak Primitives. If I shared it, it would pretty much give it give it away so I'm not going to be able to share that with you so the two whips you got to see from me was modern folk embroidery and the finish that I had from whilst iris naps now last week I have a really big one um I have a really big one that's coming up and it is a secret stitch and it's going to take a while so I did share with you that it's this was the linen I got last uh shared last time and it's 28 count water lily jobelin Joblin Water Lily, which is really, really pretty. I got this at my local needle shop, Brick City, and it's really nice that everybody um, is reaching out that goes to Brick City. So I have a feeling I'm gonna meet a lot of new people up there one day. Um, so I have this linen and I took the week and since it was crazy, it was the perfect time to go ahead and get all my uh, floss ready for the project. Now, I will say probably 95% of it is DMC. So that's really nice. I've got me, I made my own um, tags. So it, it of course is historic. <laughs> that's your dog, that's not mine. Maggie, you all did say you loved seeing my dogs last time. So, uh, so there are a few weeks dye works in here. I grabbed a little bling this time. I'm never usually in compliance, but I found a little vintage, um, picture of, of a president so anyways but I've got two of each on here so it looks really full but this is going to tell you the size of the project but I really like the colors and I'm really ready to to get started my start on this is my goal is April 1st and um give it our best shot okay you're next <laughs> I feel a little bit like Brenda and Laura which I know you Probably never watched them, but we should share this one together. Do you have yours? I th I showed it last time, but I didn't do any more because I've been I know <laughs> I've been doing them once a week, so I okay. Yeah. Well, this is my progress for Witchy Stitchers Universal Movie Monster Stitch Along. Yeah, that's right. See how good it is. I told everybody how cute that was. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I'm, she did, when I shared mine, this middle block is you get to pick your own ending and I picked the witch's door. What is yours called? I don't know. You don't remember it? Um, but they had a bunch of different, they have one where it just says the end. And then I love the little wolf. Guy. I added the pumpkin down at the bottom and then I outlined stuff that wasn't, showing up outline. yeah <laughs> and then are the ghosts in the glow in the dark thread yes is that is that all that's in the glow in the dark yeah we decided to go ahead and grab some of the dmc um specialty with the glow in the dark and thought we would um give it a try so she said it's a little different to work with it's dry dry <laughs> it's very dry i wonder if it's really could... hard to like thread the needle yeah it's different i think it sounds like krennic and Krennic is not really... And you can't a... lick it because it tastes bad. Okay. <laughs> no licking the glow-in-the-dark thread. Okay. Okay. More... Ooh, you know what I forgot to say? Oh, if I go back to this whilst Iris naps... What is it? No, no. Okay. Uh, if I go back to this... Laura, I did it. I had posted it in Laura, um, Serial Starter... Her Instagram name is Maud and Mozart, but she's, well, I don't have to tell you who she is, but she sits next side, uh, next to uh, Miss Brenda. And um, anyways, when she saw it, she said, I'm going to get that. And I said, how about we go for a finish by Friday? And she said, I'll give it a shot. And um, so anyways, I just wanted to make sure that I mentioned that. Laura, it was certainly fun thinking about being a little bit competitive with you while I stitched this. Um, Okay, so, haul. Do you have any haul? You have one haul. What? You have uh, the, the pattern you got for the jacket? That might hang on that. Isn't that a whip? Yeah, that one's with your phone. Why don't you show, and then I'll go back to haul. So, do you want me to move this one under? 
Um, it doesn't matter. Okay, I'm just gonna, I'll hold it over here. Okay, so I am attempting something I never attempted before. This is my pattern. Can you get it? It's kind of hard to. She did a that it was an Etsy. Yeah, it's Etsy. The shop name is So Many Fiddly Bits. How do you spell that? S E W? Like no, S E W many? Just... Or just so many? Yeah. Okay. Nope. Who are you going to call? This is better. So many fiddly bits. Okay. <laughs> we, we stitch. Every now and then we stitch something the same. Uh, we do a stitch along, but yep. This um, okay. So this is going to be for my husband and I am attempting to stitch it on the back of a jean jacket. And I have water soluble canvas and I pinned it and I hope I measured it all right because there's no turning back. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have never ever I've never done anything like that. So I uh, kudos to her. She's always jumping off and trying something that I've never tried before. So And then I I'm gonna cool. do the ghost and the glow in the dark. Oh, are you? Yeah. Oh, that'll be cool. Then you'll know where he is when you're walking around Universal. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I, th I think that's incredibly brave and I'm not sure she'll have fingers when she's done, but you said you're using your embroidery needle on that? I am. Did that work? Yeah, it's easy. Oh. Like, it's not that thick. It's not it. Oh. I mean, it's... Oh, yeah, nice. Okay. So, a lightweight jean jacket, and you got the jean jacket From there. Forever 21. Okay. Perfect. It was, like, 30 bucks. Not bad. And that is for his birthday? Or just whenever? Um, for whenever. <laughs> Happy birthday, Christian. Her yes. husband's birthday was this... Yesterday? Yesterday. Friday. Yeah. Yes. Sorry. Happy birthday. <laughs> okay. All right. So, the rest of my haul... Um, I have two more things to share is the first one is the hum of the bees by Twin Peak Primitives. I absolutely, we never got into beekeeping here, but I really like this one because I don't know, it just looks a little, a little bit fancier. And of course it's still a sampler, but not a terribly large sampler. And I really like them here. So that's hum of the bees. I think the people, I will say one thing, Twin Peaks, Primitives, people are some of my favorite to stitch. Um, they are just a joy to stitch. So I love their patterns, but I think, oops, I think that has a watermark. Sorry about that. But anyway, so I got that one. And then I talked last time about the whole eBay Etsy thing, the two E's. Once you start watching Floss Tube, you just go down a, a, a dark hole <laughs> and, and puppy's going to say hi. But every now and then I find something that I thought for the price of it, why would I not? So, okay, I like Homespun Elegance. And I came across a very small little kit and it is old. And um, it, it, I don't usually like to just buy the magazine. That's, I'm, I'm all about the hard pattern. But it came with threads. It had a small piece of the, the called for linen. It was 28 count, but it's a small, sweet little sampler. And I mean, there's people stitching strawberry. I think there's a strawberry sale right now. I could jump on that and it just wouldn't take but a weekend to stitch. Um, the name of it is Be Ye Kind and True. I thought it was interesting that she actually said to stitch it uh, with three strands. I've got to reread it just in case. But there was also a really nice, um, I actually read it. No. Uh, uh, a whole little write up on Sandra Sol uh, Sullivan. So it was interesting that um, she started in the 1970s. So anyways, for, I think I paid $3. For three dollars, I got this, the linen, and I know DMC threads, but they're all colors that I really like. Um, not very, not looking very pretty, but whoa, that's even worse. Okay, 
but I think it's gonna be nice. I think it's perfect for one of those little projects you pull out because you just don't wanna get back to what you're working on right now, it's too big. And sometimes those are just, just right for me. Um, okay, so, your last wit, my dear. Um, I don't remember what this one's called, but it's a giant like stained glass nightmare before Christmas one. Um, and this is my progress. It's like safety pinned. So. Yeah. Okay. Um, She's it's really on cute. 14 count Ada from Hobby Lobby. And then I did him. You can't really see it, but his face is all glow in the dark. Oh, okay. And then he has like a little skeleton shirt so all the bone parts are gonna be glow in the dark too cute and now this was when she got this um she's the mommy of my two grandchildren aria and matthew and aria fell in love with this movie uh the past christmas and this is actually full coverage correct so mm -hmm. this is a big undertaking uh, she goes for the big things um i kind of do too but anyways, it's really, really pretty, and that's why she was thinking that uh, the Ada was perfect for this kind of situation, because it's full coverage anyways. But it mm -hmm. is, like, it's as tall as Aria. It was taller than Aria. I have the picture. Yeah, it's so, but it's really pretty. It's really pretty. And I know we did, did we buy that? Did I, I know I bought it, but, like, did it come off Etsy? Yeah. Okay, it so it was an instant download. Uh oh, I think she's going to go. It's big. <laughs> uh, gotta get some of the jack going on. I'm saving him hey. for last. Okay. So that's all the haul I have. That's all the haul you have. You need to buy more, I guess. It has stuff that I haven't downloaded on Etsy. Oh, man. Okay. Um,. I wanted to mention just a couple of things as far as um, plans, or I guess I should say goals. Um, I like it when people share not just their whips or their haul, but I also like it when they talk about what their goals are for the year. Um, and I stitch a lot of, I do a lot of model stitching, so sometimes it feels like my own personal goals maybe don't get met. So that's why it's fun when I can throw in a little red work or a small sampler that I can get accomplished. Uh, or maybe even just a, um, a, an ornament. And so I wanted to share what a couple of goals I had this year. One for sure is I want to do my first drum. I have never done a drum. I absolutely love watching everybody's finishes. Um, so this is the drum, I saw this on Instagram where somebody used this pattern, Little House Needleworks, as their drum, and it fits right in with everything I love to stitch as far as historic, um, patriotic, and the Mayflower. So this one is called, this is chart number 62, and it's called Coming to America. So I know eventually it will it would be really awesome to have it finished up and if you saw it on Instagram, finished into a drum, it was breathtaking. It was really the perfect size. So that's one goal that I don't wanna miss this year. And the other one is, it seems really silly and I know they stitch up fast, but I would like to start making for, I have a seasonal tree. I think you've seen it on Instagram. If not, I'll try and um, angle the camera a different way another, another time. But I would like to start stitching up all the Blackbird designs stockings so that I can add that those to my tree. So I did pick up a few and this one, uh, the, these, they usually come with at least three of them, three stockings for September. So I wanted the ones if I could, okay, here's the back. Um, so there's three. My favorite is the front, of course, it's got an alphabet, um, but I've got that one, and then I added to my, this wasn't hauled this time, it was in my stash. Oops. I told her about the crinkle, and here I am doing it. And this is the Love is in the Air, and I would make all of those. But I would probably start with this one. 
because one because I know I can accomplish it quickly. Um, some people don't like to stitch alphabets, but I really do. And this is the back, but I think that's so. Um, anyway, so that's those are two goals. Is basically stockings up there on my seasonal tree and a, a drum. I'd like to get a drum. <laughs> Are y'all having fun? <laughs> They're having fun. <laughs> And we are you stitching after or no? Or are you are you letting the dog play? I don't stitch? think I have Did anything not bring to anything? actually stitch with. Okay, that's a boo boo. You're supposed to stitch after these episodes. Okay, um, I guess we can share finishes. Are we ready for that? Sure. Okay, so these are FFOs. Do you know what an FFO is? Finally. No. No, that's me. <laughs> no, I was going to say finally finished. <laughs> finished. Finally. Oh. Nope. But you're so close. Fully finished object. Ah. So that's a finish. This is a fully finished. Okay, so I told, shared with everybody that I had finished the Shepherd of Veer by Twin Peak Primitives. And the frame came. I went ahead and framed this one myself. Um, so there's going to be a glare. I ordered it from Art to Frames. Let's see. Whoa. Here, you hold it. Maybe that'll work. I'll tell you where the... Can you get it in there? Oh, need there you go. That's better. Anyways, I loved the details in the frame. It came with a mat, so I learned a valuable lesson. I wanted a 12 by 12. It's not easy to find square square. I thought I gave them the right dimensions, but what I gave them included a mat. So I worked my way around it by painting the mat a colonial blue and then antiquing over top of it to kind of downplay it. I think it's okay, but I'm, I'm pleased with it. I, I really like it. Um, the blue's really pretty. Again, on this one with the little sheep, I used the whisper, but I, it was a really fun one to stitch. Okay, thanks. This is, this is nice having help, very nice. Um, before we do the last one. So when did you start stitching? <laughs> I'm trying to remember. Mm. Probably like after I graduated high school. Yeah. Maybe before that. What did you stitch then? I thought I did some like little, little, little things. Hmm. I think and then first... I had like patterns. Remember, I had I like <laughs> I had that extravagant um, sorcerer Mickey one. It was like full coverage. You yes, remember? yes. What a stupid package. Yeah, from I'm like, Hobby don't Lobby. buy a kit. Don't buy a kit. Don't buy a kit. Get Especially your own threads. From Hobby Lobby. Yes, and it was full coverage. I'm like, don't do full coverage yet. Don't <laughs> start. But and then I had one of the little like um, the dinky ones with the plastic frame, and it was mm -hmm. Tinkerbell. You did and do that one. Did I you? did most no, of you it did until a barn. I messed up. Didn't I you did do a barn. barn. That's right. I a little a barn. tiny barn. That was it. But then your biggest piece, she stitches, you stitch. Um, would you like to share how you stitch? Like, <laughs> in hand? Yes. <laughs> she stitches in hand. Sometimes. Well, I know you have the Q-snaps for that to hold it, but a lot of times you stitch in hand. Usually, if I'm using eight, I'll use a Q-snap. Okay. Because eight is harder to do like the sewing. Thing. The sewing method. Yeah. Yeah. If it's linen, I'll just do it in hand. And you stitched, do you remember the name of the pattern for Twin Peak Primitive? It that was, one was your first really. Like um, mother like daughter or something. Like mother like daughter. Yeah. The saying is, as is the mother, so is the daughter. There you go. And there was geese on it. It was really pretty. I was supposed to stitch it with her. And she didn't. I didn't. Yeah, no. <laughs> Squirrel. Squirrel, squirrel. Okay. All right. So I did go up and pick up um, first Thanksgiving. So I thought that's how we would close out the show unless there's anything else. I think we survived. We didn't take up too much of your time. <laughs> the cat's in the window watching the dogs. Anyhow, um, but I picked it up and I thought it would be great to show it to you. It's obviously uh, large, but it's... um. Let's see if we can squeeze this thing in here somehow. Good Lord. Good <clears throat> oh my goodness. Okay, ready? Like I knew it was big. <laughs> okay. So will it fit? Okay, yeah. And there's, this one was obviously 
uh, has the museum glass. The dog's gonna knock over the lamp. Um, oops, sorry, hon. So, there we go. Huh. But I, I thought I loved One Nation Under God most, but this one really, this one really holds a special place. This, it was stitched on 28 count Joblin um, lamb's wool. The color is lamb's wool. And um, I, again, I love their people. They're so fun, so fun to stitch. And I typically start, I do, did do my border first, especially when I'm model stitch and I wanna make sure I'm, 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 I'm golden. But on this one, because I stitch in hand and because I'll do the sewing method any time I can, as soon as I got my border in and my, my you know, this as well, um, I did the pumpkins and these stitch up very fast. <gasps> you okay over there? <laughs> yeah, my dog knocked over your picture. Oh, okay. Hold on, slight delay, puppy, puppy problems. Okay, but as, old, as big as this looks and as overwhelming, one, it's on 28 count, and two, as soon as you start getting up in here, I stitched her in a day, the Indian I stitched in a day. When you stitch in hand or you stitching up, um, I work from the bottom up because then the needle just naturally flows um, going towards the top. I love stitching letters, so they, they really don't bother me and it, it fills it in. But anyways, this is First Thanksgiving by Twin Peak Primitives. Uh, it just came out not too long ago. And we are having a uh, stitch along that starts May 1st. And if you have the pattern and you wanna join, that would be great. Obviously I've already stitched it, but I would love to see everybody's progress. Um, I d okay, I'm gonna hold this. Okay, hold on, I got it. Okay, anyhow. Um, puppy needs to use the restroom, I think. But it was uh, nice that she was able to sneak over with hubby's home, and she could she could get out. And mommies, mommies need that. Um, so every now and then she can sneak over at night, and maybe we can stitch. But I wanted you to see the finished piece. Um, I'm not gonna lie, there is a mistake. Um, it's not perfect, but it's perfect to me. And nobody's perfect. So I just uh, absolutely, if I could get it a little closer, I would. There we go, maybe that helps. These are a lot of dyed floss, um, but there's a DMC conversion as well. So that's first Thanksgiving, Twin Peak Primitives. Uh, there we go, sorry about that. Um, I think I just wanted to take an extra two seconds. I know this was a little more chaotic, so I hope you'll hang tight till floss tube number four. Um, I, sorry, I wanted to say thank you. Again, so many nice comments, so many nice messages. And um, I think that it's just a lovely community. So um, it was nice that my daughter could join and I want you to know that many, 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 many of you have commented and uh, given me the condolences, uh, shared their stories with their mom. And um, I definitely know that I felt the love from that. And I know that I'm not the only one and I'm in a different uh, special group. And that's, that's what it is. We all miss our moms. So again, thank you. And I look forward to floss tube number four. I um, can't say that I did this for numbers. I did this to inspire, show you new things, but it certainly is fun to watch um, the, the, the group that watched me grow. And um, so anyways, happy stitching everyone. And I will talk to you hopefully in another week and the week won't be as crazy. So hopefully I will have much more to share with you. Love you, bye.